Hello, welcome to Red's TV. All the uh, banners and racing stickers and stuff you see in my garage and around here, I'm not sponsored by. Today we're um, 2001 Dodge Durango, and uh, we're going to put a master cylinder on. But if you remember watching the uh, our video, had a on changed oil, had a cap. The ratchet cap broke around the auto parts. Let's carry him in stock. So that's a good thing. I gotta go to the junkyard. And at least that one don't click and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is remove this master cylinder here and bench bleed it. We're gonna uh, use a good old turkey baster and suck all the fluid out that we can. That way it don't make a make a mess here. Plus, this is actually uh, this thing sucks. I have to tape that on there. The brake fluid's eating up the rubber already. I've only used it a few times. But remember, we put uh, front front brakes. Oh, this thing really sucks. I'll we'll buy one from Kroger's. These things really do suck. I'll have to duct tape it on there, I guess. We're going to try to get much fluid out. Usually, I got a core charge. I think on this one, since it's new master cylinder, it don't have a core charge. I don't know. I'm going to save it for them. But still, if you have to take it back, you don't want all this stuff leaking all over the floor. And on the fender and the fenders and it messes up the uh, paint brake fluid will eat paint off eat paint off I think I've got about as much of it out there as possible the ground Glue it back on my cylinder. Glue it on the O'Reilly's fluid, brake fluid. What we gotta do, you gotta use a line wrench. It's 12 millimeter to break the lines loose. Good thing it ain't all rusted and stuff. You'd have to you can go ahead and get the other wrench. I guess fluid is going to drip down. And 13 millimeter, you got two nuts here. And this 13 is probably going to bust my knuckles. Uh, but it's kind of wore out. Man, things on there too. Probably have to do the old wrench trick here. Double wrench up like that and get it broke loose. If I have to do this side same way, take it in and loop it. Oh 
Oh man, them bolts are tight. Probably gonna get some spray. Free it up some. These things are on here too. Oh yeah, a lot easier. We already got the lines broke loose. You gotta have a deep well 13 to do this. Say it's probably original master cylinder. Got the other video of plus called this 2002. This is 2001 Durango. Yeah, all know it's a 2000. Oh, I thought it was 2001. With the 5.9. I thought it was 5.8. Have you worked on cars for so long? Get these out. Make, uh, make sure you get that. Oh, I guess the rubber comes with it, and that slides onto there, onto here. But you can tell that's where it's been leaking, leaking down the back of that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the fluid the best we can. Yeah, I'd say it's original. And get a rag and hold on that. All right, we're back here. Um, we're going to bench bleed this. You know, this comes with the mass cylinder. It was in the box. I uh, took it out of the box already. That goes on the back sleeve. You don't want to put that in there on that. And it does have the back rubber seal on that we'll make sure that that rubber seal don't go to that uh, brake booster so what we're going to do is you kind of start gravity bleeding it and gravity bleed does help look how nice and clean that is now this is a new master cylinder and if it was actually a rebuilt one, you'd have to pop off the tank and uh, change that. But uh, it comes with these. Some do, some don't. Some come with little uh, rubber or little plastic lines with little slots on them holes right there. And we're just going to wait here and usually it'll start to... Uh, drip out of there but what we're going to do is speed up the process a little longer i'm going to take this stick it in the back part of that slot um probably going to make a mess get a pan here or a bucket i'm going to push on it don't want to push on it hard to shoot all the way across the thing see it starting to come out Push it all in. Take your fingers and 
seal it up and let off. And you take it, don't push it hard, it'll shoot everywhere. See, it's already coming out of that. You hear the air. Make sure it's sealed. Where I used to work at, we had like a little shot thing, a sucker, and suck it out, and you don't even have to do this. But if you don't bench bleed your mass cylinder, you're going to be forever pumping it up. But I still got to put a, a driver's side cow on rear wheel cylinder, so we're just going to get bled, um, bled best we can here. And uh, see, it's our, that one's already bled. Stuff falling over. If you want to take that. See that one? It's starting to pour now. So that means actually there no air in it. You can see it just pouring down. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna push it real slow and we're gonna put these in it. Don't let off, you'll get air in it. That's finger tight. <laughs> 